You know it, man. The camera loves me. Yep, no pressure. I won't screw up much. Oh boy. You know, they can't all be winners. Here we go again. Greetings from ABC Acres. I'm Grant Shadden here on the south side of our workshop in our landscaping area to uh, bring together some previous videos that I've done to show the connections between these different methods and techniques and also to follow up to show you the results of uh, some of the things that I've explained before. So if you haven't seen those previous videos, you can uh, click uh, up here and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can catch up on all of the previous videos. Now, what we're gonna do today is take this autumn olive and take cuttings from it, put it in our willow rooting hormone water to make more autumn olive bushes from this one. But before we do that, I wanna just give you a quick video tour of this area and talk about some of the uh, lessons that we've been learning and some of the things that I explained in previous videos will be illustrated here in the landscape. Okay, so first off, we have our autumn olive shrub as I had previously mentioned. And I did a video earlier where we planted two trees or shrubs in one hole and that is the case here with the autumn olive. And you can see as a result, we have about over five and a half feet tall in just a year from about a foot and a half bare root start, as opposed to over here in the landscape. That's uh, just over two feet tall there, that autumn olive shrub. And it's much more compact and has a, a fuller branch and leaf structure. But if you're wanting to get the height, the two trees in one hole certainly works. And then right here we have the Jerusalem artichokes, which I did about uh, perennial pig food. And I talked about their vigorous growing habit. And as you can see, we have over three feet of growth, closing in on four feet of growth in some spots on those Jerusalem artichokes in just six weeks and they will continue to grow to about, oh, eight to 10 feet tall through the season. So a great plant for uh, biomass accumulation, sequestering carbon. Uh, it's a great for uh, feeding to the goats as well, and then the pigs love the edible roots. All right, now that you've seen that, we're gonna get down to business with this autumn olive shrub. And just like I showed in that previous video, we wanna trim out one of these shrubs so that they're not competing for too long. Now that we've boosted that, that vertical growth up, it's time to take one out. But instead of just chopping one down and then chopping it up for mulch, what I'm gonna do is actually take some of these branches and from cutting, put it in our willow rooting hormone water, which we made in a previous video to encourage even faster root production and growth from these branch cuttings. See, it's all coming together now, just like mashed potatoes and gravy, or uh, something like that. I'll let you decide. But so we just wanna take a cutting and strip off any leaves until uh, maybe at the very top and we can even, if you have a deft hand, just kind of on the bottom here, scarify it in a few places, just gently enough to expose the light green cambium layer of this branch. And then we'll put it in that willow rooting hormone water. And it will take up that rooting hormone into the branch and actually start to root from there and Next year, we'll be able to plant these out in the fields as new autumn olive trees, or shrubs, excuse me. And the great thing about these shrubs is they fix nitrogen in the soil. They have an edible berry for us, for the livestock, for wildlife. 
and they have a good, vigorous growth habit. They have a lot of purposes on a permaculture homestead or farmstead. And so we want to multiply them out. And we're doing that with pre-existing resources from the landscape, which is really the way to go when you're doing things on scale. So as you can see, just stripping those leaves down, I'm doing about, oh, eight to 10 inch cuttings that I'm putting in there. They do have some small thorns here and there and you can just kind of break or trim those off. Well, I'm gonna keep making more cuttings. You can see I'm gonna be able to get several from this one olive, autumn olive plant and make many more to plant out next year. So you can see this combination of these different methods and techniques where we can continue to build the system, build abundance here at ABC Acres. And you can do the same thing on your property, whether it's just a small urban lot all the way up to hundreds of acres, if you have it. We encourage you to go out there and give some of these methods a try and see for yourself how abundant you can make your land. Well, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below this video. And as always, thanks for watching.